In today's video, I'm going to show you how hanging from a bar, just like this, along with a few simple other exercises, could really help your shoulder. So if you've got an impingement syndrome or a rotator cuff tear or frozen shoulder, then this video is going to be really useful for you. I'm going to show you a set of exercises which includes hanging uh, that can really potentially help you. Now I've hurt both my shoulders over the last couple of years. One was a, a football injury, goalkeeping. The other one was being a little bit too overzealous at the gym. And the exercise protocol I'm going to show you really worked well for me. So if it's worked well for me, hopefully it'll work well for you as well. Hi, I'm Craig from Elevate Chiropractic and I've been helping people feel, move and function better for the last 13 years. And the exercise protocol I'm going to show you, I learned from this book here. It's called uh, Shoulder, pa um, Shoulder Pain, The Solution and Prevention. It was written by Dr. John Kirsch. He's an orthopedic surgeon. So he, he came up with these shoulder protocols um, and actually did a study called the Kawai study which um, they, they talk about in this book here where there was 92 people and they had a, a varying ranges of shoulder injuries from impingements to rotator cuff tears to frozen shoulders and what they found is that at the end of the study 90 of the 92 participants returned to normal activities of daily living which is great and in fact two, two people actually cancelled the upcoming surgery so this just goes to show how this exercise protocol can be very effective. Now, in order to do this exercise, you have to be able to lift your arms up to 90 degrees at least. If you can't do that, then your injury may be a little bit too um, severe and you probably need to get it looked at before you try doing this. And secondly, if you are prone to shoulder dislocations or brittle bones, then again, these exercises may not be the best for you. But otherwise, let's show you how to do this shoulder protocol. So the key part of this shoulder protocol is hanging from a bar. Now you might ask, why would I want to hang from a bar? What's that going to do? Okay, and there's four things according to um, Dr. John Kirsch that hanging from a bar does for our shoulders. One is it stretches a ligament that runs across the front of our shoulder here. Um, if this ligament gets tight, especially from that sort of poor posture that we often round the shoulders we're in, decreases space within the shoulder joint leads us to be more prone to impingement. Secondly, is it stretches the joint capsule, so things like frozen shoulder, the whole shoulder's tight, so we want to try and stretch that capsule out a little bit, Hang, hanging from a bar does that. Uh, also increases the space within the joint to reduce impingement and so forth. Um, thirdly, uh, hanging from a bar actually uh, fully rotates and elevates our shoulders, so when we're hanging from a bar like this, as our shoulders are up in there, really uppermost position which it never ever gets into unless we're hanging from something or brachiating as we call it. So again a good reason to hang from a bar. Fourthly uh, it'll help strengthen up our, rota our rotator cuff muscles so healthy shoulders require healthy rotator cuff muscles okay. So if we are going to hang from a bar the, what the protocol suggests that we do is we're going to hold onto the bar we're going to let our, our weight go. Now ideally we'd have our feet off the ground when we do this, okay? And have our full body weight going through our shoulders. It takes a little bit of effort and um, it takes a little bit of time to fully relax into this, okay? Now if you haven't done this before, what I'd suggest that you do is actually start with your feet on the ground and slowly just let your body weight go and let, it, let it, the weight increase through your shoulders until, uh, just so you can see how, how it feels, okay? Now when you first start doing this, it's going to be a little bit sore okay especially if you haven't done it before it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to it and how it feels so you have to persevere with it a little bit obviously we've got to be within reason if it's really sore and or really bad obviously stop and get that get looked and get it looked at but a little bit of discomfort is okay when we do this okay so we're going to hang on from the bar for 10 to 30 seconds we're going to stop rest shake shake out your hands because your grip strength will give out first uh, we're going to rest for a minute and then we're going to hang on to the bar, do it again and you're going to re repeat that cycle for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, And then once we've gone through that a lot of time, we can then move on to the second part of the protocol. So after we've done our hanging, uh, we can then move into the second part of the sh um, shoulder protocol which is three simple exercises using just some nice light weights. Now in the book they suggest using one to eight pounds. Um, these are just one kilo each, these are just some, some weights from my weighted vest but you can use whatever you've got laying around at home or even just try it without any weights at the start. So the first of the three exercises we're going to stand up nice and tall, make sure your core's on, hold on to our weights and we're going to lift our arms up the side all the way up to the top keeping our arms straight, palms facing the ground, okay? And we're gonna do um, 30 to 45 reps, so it's quite a high rep range. Uh, the second exercise, again, arms straight, nice and tall, all the way up to the front, again, palms facing the ground. 
I'm going to do again 30 to 45 of those. And then the final one is arms backwards, palms facing the ground. And that's it. So very simple, right? So we're going to use nice light weights, um, 30 to 45 reps. Once you can comfortably do 30 to 45 reps, um, you can then slowly increase your weight if you want to. So very simple. Um, the idea behind the exercise is that once we've done the hanging, we've stretched out the joint capsule of our shoulder, we've increased the range of motion, we can then make those muscles work and hopefully, and hopefully try and increase the stability of the shoulder joint. And that's as simple as this shoulder protocol is. We've got the hang from a bar, we about 10 to 30 second hanging, a minute rest, repeat for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're gonna do those um, three very simple exercises using those light weights. Now, when you first do this, uh, in the book, they suggest doing this daily, okay? Especially if you've got an injury, you wanna do this regularly just to really try and get on top of the injury. But once you are getting over your injury, or even if you don't have a sore shoulder and you just wanna keep healthy shoulders, um, this is perfect to do, say once or twice a week, just to try and keep healthy shoulders. Now, bear in mind, if you are doing these exercises, you're still getting sore shoulders, it might be worth getting them um, assessed. Um, sometimes, especially from a chiropractic point of view, is issues with the neck can be a cause or a contributing factor to shoulder pain. So if you are suffering from sore shoulders, you've tried the protocols, you've tried a few other things and it's not working, maybe it might be time to look at things from a slightly broader perspective and that's where chiropractic care could help so if you want a second opinion feel free to give me a call on 413 5312 we can find a time for you to come in i can do my assessments and see if there's anything else that i can do to help you out but until next time take care i'll see you soon bye